Hello everyone, my name is Mad Radio DX UK and I'd like to welcome you to this video where I'm showing my TEF6686 with a new firmware which is a 2.0 beta version. Now, I'd like to thank the following people on the Skyways DX group who helped me um, flash the firmware on uh, my TEF6686 and that's uh, Ian, Peter, Adam and uh, Chris and uh, yeah, without you guys I won't have been able to uh, flash this so thank you very much. Okay, so what it is is that um, I had uh, flashed the firmware of uh, my TEF6686 from 1.18, which it came with, to version 1.21. But I didn't like it because one of the things they did was they removed the selectable bands for long wave and medium wave and put it all together for short wave. I didn't like that because it just makes it more difficult to uh, tune quickly for stations. So when I was told about the 2.0 beta and the advantages it has of the firmware 1.1 one, one versions... Um, you know, it was uh, I was starting to you know like what I was hearing, so uh, I decided to install the 2.0 beta. So yeah, very pleased about that. Let's switch the radio on. And as we can see, software version 2.0, which is really the firmware. Okay. They sold up and bought, bought and yeah, yeah bought it uh, works really well. Uh, the RDS in, RDS information uh, decodes very quickly. Expert. Just one thing though. Um, the latest version of the beta I tried uh, decodes the RDS, RDS information a bit slow, um, and uh, I told uh, the I put this on the Skyrift DX group, and Peter told me um, to uh, try a different version of the 2.0 beta, um, an older version, and this version makes, uh, works great. So thank you, Peter, for recommending me this uh, this version. Um, so one other thing that I like about this 2.0 beta is that it's got a battery meter, as you can see the, here. On the top right the firmware 1 versions like 1.18 and the 1.21 I tried that I flashed to um, don't doesn't have a battery meter so that baffles me why it doesn't have it I need to know how much battery it has in case I need to you know recharge the the battery on this uh, radio so uh, very happy about this um, 2.0 beta beta so let me just show you here now with this 2.0 beta it's got separate bands for long wave medium wave the short wave band that's the 160 meter band by the way and the oirt band which is a band used in um you know in russia and the older soviet states um but it's selectable now on this uh 2.0 beta rather than all you know being all in one with the fm band which really useful when for example you get e-skip via oirt and we're back to the uh, fm band so yeah, another good thing about this is that um, remember the video I did showing about the um, you know how to remove the soft mute on the firmware one point one eight version. Well now, let's go uh, access the menu here, pressing the top button. Well now, if we go down to FM settings here, click the tuning button to go here. Now it's an option you can turn it on or off, right? It's uh, it's there rather than mess around with the set level offset, right? Like I showed in the other video. Now you can turn it. Um, on or off here so very useful and uh, excellent for the 2.0 beta um, to uh, have this so yeah so um, in summary I'm very pleased with this uh, 2.0 beta um, I don't think I'll be going back to the 1.0 versions um, because I think this adds it gives more options um, with uh, you know more features uh, to use with this uh, TEF6686 and like I said things like the battery meter and all that um, the soft mute being um, an option now to turn on or off um, with uh, you know with 2.0 beta I'm, st I'm keeping this uh, version you know so uh, maybe it's something that uh, you know potential owners or current owners are thinking of doing um, if you want an instruction on video on how to flash the firmware or change the firmware on this what I believe is the second revision of the TEF 6686 let me know and um, I'll do an instruction video um, just one thing though, I think the first firmware versions have a different way to uh, flash the firmware. Um, so it probably won't be the same, but yeah, just let me know if you, like I said, if you want me to do an instruction video on, uh, like I said, flashing or changing the firmware on this, uh, what I believe is the second revisions of the TEF6686. So thank you very much for watching uh, 73s and I'll see you in the next video.